Okay, so I live in Canada, in Quebec, the French part, Montreal. This is gonna be about Canada and uh, man, like like the whole world, right? Like we're all ruled by corrupt mofos. But um, like uh, over here, they're just abusing, you know, like you, um, we're paying like the most for everything. They get, they're squeezing us as much as they can. And people are so um, docile and, you know, weak, uh, no balls, no fight. And they just take it. And they just, and these fools keep taking. It's getting worse and worse and worse. And people just take it, take it, take it. And, um, I mean, shit, you know where this is headed. It's going to be fucking terrible. So, like, I don't know. People have got to start waking up and doing something. Cause this is this is sick. This is insane. Anyways, let's hear what this girl's gonna say. Canadians are paying forty six percent of their paycheck in federal taxes. I just want to break this down for you, Minister. I'm sure you know this, but people are writing to me and they don't even have an incentive to go to work or work overtime. So if you're making a hundred thousand dollars, which used to be so much money, people have never. Paid yeah, like my friend, she got a raise, she got a promotion. She'd been working at a place for like 10, 20 years, I don't know. And like the raise was like 10 Gs, right? 10,000. But like, it didn't really make a difference because it gets all taxed. Um, and it's like, you get taxed your paycheck, then you go spend the money and that get taxed again. And uh, it's like, it's, it all keeps, it's robbery, it's a scam the B system, the money system, um, banks, IMF, insurance companies, all this shit is total crap. The judicial system, the legislator, all the politician, all these, all this stuff. And, um, yeah, man. And that's the shit that's like out in the open. Then you have the hidden stuff, right? In the shadows. That's pretty dark AF. Uh, okay, um, my brain is a little foggy, so I'm not going to talk too good today, so I'm just going to run it. More money and being less poor, because we have the worst economic growth per person in the G7. This hasn't happened since the Great Depression. And you take on an extra $30,000 of overtime. I'm just going to put this into context for people. So if you go and you make $130,000 in overtime, you're going to pay $22,000 in federal tax. So now you've you've destroyed their purpose because you've demoralized them by hiring outside consultants and you're taking away their incentive to go to work on their paycheck. It's more than 46 percent. I'm just I'm just sick of this shit. Um, and I was going to say something and I forgot. So there you go. 46 percent is just off your paycheck. What about everything you buy for that week? And then you got to. You, you you spend all your time with the work, which is most of your 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 awake time. So you're away from everybody. Then you gotta go shopping. You're stuck in the traffic. If you take public transportation, God bless you. Um, I mean, and if you're in a car, forget about it. There's always traffic all the time. There's like it's always rush hour. The freaking city wants to. They're reducing the streets. They're creating all these things that are removing parking spaces. They're removing driving lanes. It's fucking insane. There's one street over here that's like a, a, a nice street, a nice artery, a big one. And it's two ways. They want to make it a one way. I mean, this shit is nuts. And at the same time, I mean, I'm no, I'm done. I'm done.